Hey guys, Lockie here from 782 Motors. Want to give you guys a backstage pass today. We've got all our stuff set up in the showroom for our auction that's currently live. So I want to show you some of the cars and the details. We've got Benny here behind the camera. Do a bit of a candid video, something different. To show you everything in the showroom. Just give you a bit of an overview of all the cars and stock we've got. Come on in. So, having a look at the cars, you get to see the showroom here. We'll give you a quick run through on some of the stock. So, first one here is a HG Holden GDS 350 Monaro. So, top of the tree, really nicely restored car. Um, it's a 350, obviously, auto, which is quite rare. An yeah, Indy Orange factory car. It's been done with a orange houndstooth insert trim. But, fully restored car. Next to that, we've got a 1968 Dodge Charger. Bit of a toughie, that one. It's got a 440 under the bonnet, strokes a 500 cube, 671 blower, big carb setup on it. Neatly done, it's got a set of billet wheels on it. Dark green, the green green, that one. If we have a look over this side, we've got a 1969 Falcon that's been redone as an XYGT replica. It's got a 351 under the bonnet, top loader, nine inch. It's got aircon, uh, it's got a cool March self drive set up on the front of it. Classic in white with black trim. Pretty special this one. Extra Benny, you're the XP guy. Do you want to give me yeah. a down at this one? This is uh, early 73, so it's a big port, uh, which is pretty rare on these suckers. So it's a 12 month 73, uh, big port, 4V top loader car. Uh, was a director's car from Ford, so it's got really cool history. It's um, got all the go fast gear and it was heavily optioned. So, sunroof in the top, um, air con, power steer, power windows, cloth inserts. Um, yeah, she's a burger with the work, so that one's definitely one to keep an eye on. Hmm. I mean, we've got a little 70 Mustang Mac 1. So, really tidy, neatly modified street car, 351, four speed. Um, it does have air conditioning fitted, power steering, it's got a nice set of wheels. Um, yeah, great. Full colour, real poppy blue this one. Next to that, we've got a 1967 Pontiac GDO. Love these 67 GDOs, really cool year. Love that shifter, you get that Benny. It's yeah. got that slot that goes across to shift through the gears on this side. So these things run a 400 cube V8, turbo 400 trans, got a cool set of torque thrusts on it. Neatly restored car. If we look over here, then you get our A9X, so 1977 Holden Tirana A9X sedan. Quite an interesting one, that one, Mandarin red, black trim. It's a, this was actually the, the um, number three car in the production sequence um, for the A9X car. So it's the first customer order car, the first two were Holden cars and this car was the first one that was customer ordered to be first two were press cars correct yeah so it's got a um 308 built to l34 some cool stuff in it set of hot wires and the hk yeah this one so this is a hk gds 327 bathurst monaro again top of the tree in a hk it's a type 2 car so it's a 69 it's got type 2 only colors on it it's ermine white with Jakarta trim, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's got light blue trim, which are both type two only colors. Again, fully restored car. The XY GT over here, another nicely restored one. It's got a 351 under the bonnet, obviously. It's a four speed top loader, it's done in Monza green with black trim. Check this one out on the website, guys some info to note on that and go over, but really nicely restored car. Cool little Camaro, 69, last of the first gen cars. It's got a 396 big block power steer. It's got the RS hideaway headlight front end. It was repainted here in Australia. Pounds tooth trim, vinyl top. Set of rally wheels with white leather tires the way they should be. So 1972 GDR XU1 Tirana. These things were a shift for Holden um, in racing. So Bathurst uh, Holden won with Peter Brock in 1972 in a GDR XU1, beating the Phase 3 Falcon for the first time. So yeah, great cult following these cars. It's got the right, it's got the right head and carb set up on this car. 
Cool little XE1, they're fun little grumpy little things. XA hard top, this one's a GT replica. So this car was built from a XA copper bronze 302 Fairmont. Correct. Now I've got a 393 in it, little alloy head, tough sort of motor, power steer, four speed top loader, nine inch set of globes. HG Holden, so this car is a 186S, so factory GDS car. Um, has now had the six taken out of it, it's got a 350 in the hole, done as a 350, I guess, tribute. But yeah, it was a factory 186S. It's got a five speed manual trans in it, make it a bit nicer to drive. Next to that, we've got our split bumper Camaro, so 1971 split bumper Camaro, really cool look. I love these Camaros. Got a 350 under the bonnet, aircon, and some nice options. Oh, you got our cool vet, which is an incredible build. So heaps of detail in this car. You definitely need to head to the website and check that one out. This is a full ground up build. It sits on an Art Morrison chassis. Uh, inside, you'll see there's hand stitched Italian leather. It's got an LS3 under the bonnet. Set of Woolwood brakes, Woolwood brakes all around, custom Budnick wheels. The paint and body, if you can capture in this video, hopefully you can looking down it, is super, super nice. Then he'll show you the chassis underneath it if we can get some. There's photos on the website of that, guys, to check out. See how straight this car is. These Corvettes are always wavy from the factory because they're fiberglass, and this car's had a lot of time getting it super laser straight and smooth and really a show quality build. I'd say it's the best one we've seen, Benny. Mm. Reckon it's it was forward. built to be shown, but never it's never done. it's never been done. So it's got a six-speed auto trans in it with paddle shift setup, which is really cool in this car. Push button starts, got proximity key. Really detailed build and super high quality. You love the frame, frameless glass on the top of the windscreen. Also, should we note it has been on Queensland <coughs> Regio previously. Yeah. So, HJ Holden Sandman windowless panel van. It's 253 car. 253 has been rebuilt and, and given a little tickle up, I guess, to the equivalent of a 308 spec. It's a uh, four speed, full car combo. Always popular Sandmans. HK, this is a really interesting one. So. Now, I'll just give you the overview on this quickly. This is actually a body style that Holden never made, and the guys, really talented guys, custom made this for a number of cars. So uh, we're pulling a delivery sedan. He started with a ute, and essentially the panel vans on these had a really high top, and he wanted this low, sleek profile, but in a panel van. So he's used the roof in two different wagons, the sides um, and tailgate off a panel van, and yeah, built it on a ute essentially. It's got a 355 under the bonnet, Gonzo exhaust. Tough car. You see the dual carbs hanging up out of the bonnet. This HR panel ran, it's a little sweetheart. And the local guy did a full restoration on this car, took it off, did all the, uh, put on a rotisserie, did a lot of work to it, custom trim, still running a little six banger, five speed. It's got a custom set of seats in the back too, which you might be able to see, Benny. So custom trim is going to set a seat. So can lay down those like a station wagon set up in there so you can lay them flat. Yeah. <clears throat> Another high quality, full ground up show quality build this one. It's a 41 Chrysler business coupe. So full custom car, set of custom Budnick wheels there. You'll see the paintwork's been beautifully done. The guards have been molded one piece to the body. Under the bonnet, so again an LS3 V8, but this time with a Harrop supercharger. It's running a six speed manual transmission. It's obviously had upgraded front and rear suspension, you know, coilovers all around, big brakes, full custom interior again. It's got a fold out screen with reverse camera. It's got remote door poppers, remote power windows, you know, all the bells and whistles that you can possibly put in this thing are on it. And very high quality. Check out the website for photos of underneath that one. We'll do the Mad Max Interceptor next. So this is a really cool build. Uh, again, a local guy put this together with people who contracted to the Mad Max drills. He's gone through a lot of detail on this car to make sure that it's 
as correct to the movie as possible, but still kept the car street legal so it can be used and enjoyed. So if you jump on the website, you'll see some comparison photos between the real car and this car. The blower setup is non-functional on the car. It's got a electric motor that runs the pulley, so it all looks like it worked like in the movie, um, but non-functional, obviously, to keep it legal. In the side zoomy pipes on it are all done to be like the movie car. They are non they're blocked off, so, but they are connected to the exhaust. So they're shaped like they should and do all the right things, but uh, legal because they're not connected. It does have an exhaust that goes through. Um, wheels are you know, the same ones that are on the car. It's just really, really accurate. Movie replica, Benny, yeah? Yeah, dig it. That thing's getting good interest out of America as well. Yeah. They do love them over there, this little one. Yeah, so this one's a really special car. So it's a 1971 XY GS Falcon K code. So I spoke at length to the gent who restored this car. He's a really passionate guy. He went to huge lengths, stripped this car completely back, it's matching numbers. He was fanatical about keeping all the parts that were original to the car on the car and using as little reproduction stuff as he could. So um, yeah. He rebuilt all the brake booster, master cylinder, alternator, power steering, is all original parts rebuilt. The panel is the same. Um, he didn't want to use reproduction panels or buffers on the car. Um, he's refinished all the original stuff. Underneath this is like new, which you get to see a bit of, but there's photos of on the website if you can't get a good enough view. Likewise, the trim on the seats, the original trim, all the seats were restored, the original trim was put back on it. Um, yeah, just really fanatical build, high quality car. Push you over and just run through these yeah. ones down the back, Benny. So in the corner, we've got a 1969 Cadillac Eldorado. Um, big V8, <coughs> really cool body style, these Eldos. It's a big, big coupe, luxury, obviously American car, black leather inside. I love this, it has a second door handle on um, on the front door, so in the, in the back you can open and get out from the back without having the person in front to let you in it, which I love that feature about this car. I love the fin tail yeah, lights. they're awesome. <clears throat> Beautiful paint, nice low mileage car this, they're not a lot of money. Door handle? Yeah. I'm talking about. So they're one to keep an eye on. Hmm. This is a really rare car, so it's a 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner convertible. It's um, they only built around 2,000 of these in 1969, so super, super low production car. This one's been really nicely restored. It's um, got a 383 big block V8 under the bonnet, automatic trans, power top, power steer. Really cool muscle car. Next to that's uh, our most modern car for this month it's a 2007 saline mustang so these salines are great alternatives to like a shelby they're a high performance low production uh, numbered build a uh, really great collector modern collector muscle car so under the bonnets supercharged v8 engine it's got auto aircon um, power steer all the mod cons cruise control unique styling on a saline it's got these saline wheels the back end treatment on the saline's hard to mistake. It's got a sender exhaust, says saline across the back. It's got the tail light set in on the back with the wing. So yeah, great alternative to like a Shelby GT500, similar sort of thing where Shelby takes and upgrades the car's saline's a bit like that. If you're not familiar with them, you can Google them and find out some more info. And obviously converted to right hand drive. Only done 28,000 kilometers from new. That's super low kilometer car. This is a Bit of an unusual one, we don't see these here often, it's US only body style, but it's a 1964 Ford Fairlane Compact Coupe. It's a good alternative to like a Mustang or something for someone who wants something a bit different, but similar style of car, it's 289 V8, it's got a four speed with her shifter in it, this, this thing. Um, cool colour combo. I like the bolstered seats in yeah, these, they're like a factory right. style, yeah. And I like the black with the, the sort of chromey insert in it, it's cool. Yeah. Nice Great colour combo, that Yeah. You see all the chrome's been redone. Yeah, there's a lot of new stuff on this, like all the, when they pulled it down and painted it, yeah. they put it back together with <coughs> a lot of new parts, all the chrome strips and badges and emblems. Yeah. It's nice. It's Again, up. they're not lots of money and yeah. and they're nice, so it's a good combo. This thing's a great um, 55 sports coupe, Chevy Bel Air sports coupe. So this thing's been upgraded in a resto mod sort of style. Um, High quality street car, I'd say, as far as um, painting body and stuff, really nicely presented. 
does have a couple of minor little chips and stuff from being driven, but really well presented in general. It's um, got all the right stuff though. It's so got all the right LS, gear. aircon, power steer, big brakes, four link. It's just, uh, it's just a really nice street Some car. Bit, yeah. and it takes the 50s out of these. You get the 50 styling, but um, you, you get the, the drivability. Yeah. yeah This 59 Caddy would probably be the nicest 59 that I've ever had. I don't know about you. Yeah, um, no, it would be for me too. It's right? a nice restored car. It came to Australia in the early 90s, was restored in the mid 90s and converted to right hand drive, which is a big factor in this thing. Really cool factory color combo that's been restored in. It's got the 390 under the bonnet. Um, being a coupe de ville, you get the cool interior. It's um, power seats, power windows, power steer, power brake. So great cruises. These things float down the road and that real rocket space era styling was the biggest things they put on them. And with a cool color combo and a set of fat lights, it's a um, great cruiser. Mm, gorgeous. I would own the hell out of one of them. This is one that's getting heaps of attention at the moment. It's another 1955 Chevy Bel Air sports coupe. This one's a uh, big done South Australia style. It's the way they do them down there. Real understated on the outside, beautiful but in its pain and body, sitting nice and down low and all the money's underneath the thing. Converted to right hand drive, um, really well done in the conversion, but under the bonnet, probably lift that up and turn it. So under the bonnet we've got a 632 big block, um, build engine, 1000 horsepower at the flywheel. Obviously suspension you might be able to see there is upgraded, mm. it's got custom inner guards, billet hinges, heaps of work underneath this car, again four link all over rear end, so you know obviously you can see a big radiator, all the money's underneath this thing, check it out on the website, there's lots of details to go over, but high quality 55 sports coupe and super tough car, tubbed in the rear, really aggressive stance on it. But still understated, not Larry or silly. Cool car. 65 Mustang Fastback. So, beautifully restored this car, was full rotisserie done. It actually went to MotorX, the guy got on a Maguire Superstar jacket um, after showing at MotorX when it was first finished. It was finished, I think, 2006 from memory. Um, Aco car, it's got lots of GT options. See, it's got the 289 under the bonnet, power steer. Really neatly presented everywhere you look. Red oxide underneath. Again, this is probably the nicest 65 fastback we've ever had here. And we've had some really nice ones. Yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous, that car. Mm. I'll try and get under that, because it's just... Yeah. There are photos again on the website, guys. But yeah, it's all red oxide underneath. And right hook, we've got yeah, right quite hook. a few right hand cars in this um, in this auction. Yeah, some really nice ones. Should we hit the Impala up? Yeah. I think this is pretty <clears> like <throat> it's been on this thing. Both of us are. It's a 1963 Chevy Impala Coupe. This thing started life as a six cylinder, real low mile survivor car. And guys taken it and turned it into the baddest thing that you could have had on the streets in 63. So it's got a period correct um, 409 big block in it. W motor. So really cool setup, four speed manual, which all the 409s were, but really nice the details. Like have a look at the underside of the bonnet here and how neatly finished everything is. It's a 38,000 mile car from new. The bumpers have been re but you have a look down the side of this car and how nice it is. It's got, the, the trims aren't all bent up like they've been off the car, they've never been off They're it. hard with all that anodized stuff it too. They always show hard. wear and it's just a cracking survivor car. Factory trim on the inside, so still original trim. The notes we have on this car say that, that it's mostly original paint too. If it is, it's spectacular. Um, underneath it's red oxide. It does have an upgraded exhaust when the engine was done. But absolute cracker. A lot of these Impalas you see are super run down and you know, don't get mixed after like this thing obviously has its whole life. Oh, so, it's lived a good one. 67 Chevy El Camino pickup. So custom painted in a candy magenta. Um, it is a 396 big block under the bonnet. Cool presented, nicely painted in the tub. Set of torque thrust wheels. And sitting next to the first of the El Caminos. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Yeah, we all <coughs> love the 59 Elko, they're rad cars. It's 
just done right. Super clean, black and white, classy color combo. Bench seat is four speed, which is quite rare. Uh, it's got a 350 under the bonnet, later model 350 in it. Um, nice all in the backs, really neatly painted. Just done tastefully, sitting low over the center steel wheels. On the back. Super neat in the way it's done. Nice torno cover. Super high quality. Again, a lot of these things are super run down. This is a really nice example. 67 Chevy C10 short wheelbase custom truck. This is the kind of thing you would have seen on the front of a mini truck and magazine in the States in the 90s. It's super well done. Um, extensive build. If you have a look at the photos underneath, it's all been painted the same color underneath. Custom flames. Um, lots of body work in this. So bumpers have been deleted, bullet grills, door handles have been shaved. I like the way they've put little poppers on the back here. I'll open the door for you, Benny, and show you. So a little popper, but they've relocated the way the catch goes to have the popper on here instead of the door. Lots of little details like that. Custom interior, gauges, air con. It's got a 350 V8 under the bonnet. Really cool custom truck. Big set of meats under the back of it. Custom hard lid. All details on the website. This one's on the market. This one's up and running. It's out gonna of the gate go early, to yeah. Home. Yeah, it's out of the gates quickly, so it had a super fair reserve on it. Um, so it's got a new home come Monday. It's a 1959 Chevy Apache, LS conversion under the bonnet. You see custom inner guards, heaps of work in this thing. It's got a full custom fabricated chassis underneath it. It's got airbags on all four corners, AccuAir E-level air management with preset ride bikes, 22 inch wheels, it's got wheel just brakes on the front, fuel tanks relocated to the rear. Um, yeah, so much underneath this patina body. Short wheelbase again. You see the tubs in the back and custom wood. So that's going to be a popular one, I think. And it's super cool in the way it's been executed. This is Tiffany. So 54 Chevy 210. It's been heavily chopped. So it was actually chopped in the States. It was an old Californian custom. When the car was brought out to Australia, the guys. Um, Took the paint back and redid the welds on the top so it was all nice and sound. Um, and redid in this satin Tiffany blue colour. So airbag in the rear, big notch in the back. It's got the factory 235 six cylinder under the bonnet with a power glide auto trans. Just manual airbag set up. But cool period custom. Love the look of that thing. It turns more heads than anything going down the road. 55 FJ Holding Special. No reserve this car. So again, another one that's going to a new home come Monday. It's um, nice and restored again, this car. So it's cool color combo cream with like a burgundy colored trim. It's pretty typical of that era. I love the pearly wheel on this car. It's got lots of accessories. It's got the scratch plates on the door. It's got the belt line molding. Being a special, it's got the chrome fins on the back. Single tail light on that day. Um, it's Six cylinder, three speed column shift manual. It's got the portholes and accessory sanitizer. Lots of cool stuff on it. Original style wheels with dress rings and wide white walls. No reserve, so those early holders are going nuts at the moment and only moving further north, so get on that. Another nice early <coughs> holder, EH special. So this car was restored locally here. It's um, all nice underneath in the engine bay, it's all really tidy. Trim's been redone, it's blue and white colour combo. Uh, again, six cylinder. This has actually got HRX2 twin carb set up on it. Um, got a cool set of trio of gauges that sit on top of the original speaker grill on the dash. A good value, these little things. If you buy them right and somebody's tipped all the money into them, they're. Um, 100%. Yeah, they're just cheap. Always popular too. Yeah, a good value. Little Mustang coupe sitting next to that. So, CT <laughs> little coupe, 209 V8, and it's four speed manual with her shifter. Got a couple of nice upgrades, it's got a nice set of wheels on it, it's got digital gauges in it. It's got this bench seat in it um, with a fold down armrest. So, that's a cool option if you an extra person in it um, and fold that down, it just looks like buckets. Redone in this sort of metallic pewter color, we'll call it. LED tail lights, got a nice little extras on that car. This is one of my favourites, Benny. Mm. 66 
Chevy Corvette Stingray Big Block 427. Another right hander too. Yeah, right hand drive converter. This is the bad boy of the Stingrays, man. 66 427 was the biggest engine you could have in these things. So this thing's done in a rad color, color combo, which I believe is the original colors for this car. It is a matching numbers car under the engine matches. The chassis number, it's got a set of knockoff wheels on it, side pipes, four speed, two top, soft and hard top. It's, um, yeah, they're super cool. I've had one of these C2s and I love them. This thing is I love the big bonnet bulges on these. Like they're the calling card. You know, only the big blocks, the big fatties had them. So. Super yeah. fun car too to drive. Like It's not just a cruiser. You can actually go and bank some gears in this thing and have a bunch of fun. They've got plenty of power, open top. Uh, yeah, I just love these things. I think they're super rad. This is a gorgeous 66 Mustang convertible. This thing was fully restored by Old School Garage in Brisbane. Um, so they took it back to a bare shell. There's photos um, on the website of the restoration of this car. Um, under the bonnet, it's got a tough 347 automatic. It's got um, sort of disc brakes on the front. Paint and body on it are really, really nice, mm. especially for a black car. Um, cool color combo, right hand drive again. All the chrome and badges and stuff were all redone during the resto. Yeah, just a really nice little Mustang to work. So there'll be another Stingray here. So this is a bit later now. We're going to 72. So Stingray, uh, yeah, Corvette Stingray, Target Top this one. So you can have it in a Target Top Coupe or a convertible. This thing has got a 454 big block under the bonnet. It's got a four speed. So you take the roof off. Nice new set of Corvette wheels. With a big block bonnet bulge under, you know, on the front of it. They're a timeless style car, and those chrome bumper C3s are always popular and cool. Another little Mustang coupe here. So, this one's been through a bit of a custom build. It's got a Shelby style bonnet scoop on it, it's got a 347 under the hood. Um, it's custom metallic orange paint, the trim's been all redone. Again, it's got this bench seat set up with fold down armrests, but custom trimmed. Um, auto, it's... Right hand again? Yeah, right hand drive again. It's got a bunch of, you know, extra little billet bits on it and stuff, and cool little thing. It's got billet tail lights around and stuff on it, and... A few cool little bits and odds and ends. Another right hander. Another right hander. <coughs> 71 Corvette Stingray LT1 Roadster. So the LT1 was the, I guess, small block equivalent of the big, big block um, car. So it was more focused on handling, but the high performance model. So you got the cool big block hood, um, LT1 badges and stuff on it, but it was the high performance small block car. So they're actually quite rare, quite desirable cars. They didn't build a whole lot of them. Um, this one's had a bit of paintwork stuff around. It was quite original car. Um, not had a full resto or anything, but it's um, a tidy car, a very rare car, especially Australian in right hand drive. Another one that I love, this car. Can't so, hate it. It's a 1932 Ford Roadster, um, timelessly styled hot rod. So it's been channeled, it's, all, it's an all steel body, this one. Um, super neat, black, black and chrome, you can't go wrong with it as a colour combo, always timeless, nothing offensive. Got a Dubow windscreen, split windscreen on it. Really um, cool. In the front, it's got the Hemi V8 with quad cams because triples are cool, the quads are cool. It's just really timeless in the way it's done. It does have a set of cycle guards with it, guys. I know people will say there's no guards on it. It does have a set with it that you can bolt on for street use, and obviously off the show. Um, likewise, the exhaust does have a route that goes out the back and swapped off in the front for street use. But super, super cool car, timeless hot rod. Love these 32 roadsters and that's a badass one. That one. Yeah, that's about it, guys. The other things that I might quickly mention to you while you have a quick overview of the showroom is this van while we're under it. That's in mm. our auction at the moment, along with the memorabilia. So we get Benny to try and get a quick shot of this going past. But these vans are built by a local guy here in Australia. Does a fantastic job. They're all custom made, one-off pieces. So you see the neon. Um, yeah, crazy things. It's got a custom control, which you might have a quick look at too. So, over in the corner here, sorry about the stuff around guys. The automatic shifter controls the speed of this thing. So, you move the shifter up, yeah. and it turns it off, or on, and changes speeds. 
So cool setup the way it is with the light and the trans and shifter. Just a really rad piece for someone if you've got a man. Yeah, cave really cool man cave, have, cave piece, yeah. Have that. That's um, and they do do some air. They're actually really great. We have a few in here you'll see, and um, built by the same guy. And they do move some air. They're great to have. On the wall up here, we've got our personalised plates. So for the first time, we're doing personalised plates, Queensland personalised plates in this auction. So there's a bunch of great combos on there. So get on and have a look. And um, see if there's anything you like. We've got some more on this side over here as well. So make sure you check those out, guys. Um, yeah, a bunch of great combos there for all sorts of different cars. All up live on the auction now. We've also got some memorabilia in this one. We've got some really great um, little odds and ends. Well, not little odds and ends. Actually, we've got some big stuff done. We've got some big Betty Boop and Rat Binks and um, some really cool signs that are mounted on the walls down here. So. All right. Yeah, well, that's our wrap. Pretty, that's yeah. our. I think that gives you a bit of a through. backstage pass. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it and. Um, if you want to see any more info on any of the cars you've seen today, head to the website www.782motors.com.au and um, yeah, like always, give us a call. Happy to help with anything we can.